The press has created a rigged system and poisoned the mind of so many of our voters. They have rigged it from the beginning by telling totally false stories, most recently about phony allegations, where I have been under constant attack. They attack my business. I built a great business, but although most people do admit that. They attack my wonderful family. They attack my temperament. But I built an incredible company. Those papers are filed. And I'm fortunate to have a beautiful and loving family. You all saw Melania last night on television. Did a great job. That she even has to do that is a shame. And my temperament has always been just about my greatest strength. We have a winning temperament. Our country doesn't win anymore. We don't win anymore. This is an election about truth, and you're not going to get it from the dishonest media. I think the media is trying to discourage our people from going out to vote. And it was just brought up to me by a reporter in the back. They said, you know, it was very interesting. When you were fighting 17 people, the media was nasty, but they really got nasty when we started to take the lead in the polls. They said, wait a minute, this thing's going to happen. This is going to happen. Change. Stop our jobs from leaving, our companies from leaving. Strengthen our military. Preserve our Second Amendment. They're saying this is going to happen. And it is true. Made up stories. They're liars and made up stories. Without the media and all of the other corrupt entities that have helped her along the way, she would be nothing. She would be nothing. She really, she would be doing so badly. Even my worst critics agree the media has come after us like they have never come after anyone before. It's my badge of honor. I mean, you know, what am I going to do? But they even want to try and rig the election at the polling booths where so many cities are corrupt. And you see that. And voter fraud is all too common. And then they criticize us for saying that. And we have even Republicans. Oh, that's such a terrible thing to say. Well, take a look at Philadelphia, what's been going on. Take a look at Chicago. Take a look at St. Louis. Take a look at some of these cities where you see things happening that are horrendous. And if you talk about them, they say bad things about you. They call you a racist. They call you all. And by the way, speaking of that, nobody will do more for the African-American citizens of this country than Donald Trump. Nobody. Nobody.